You take one more step forward, I shoot, I swear, mother effer. One more step. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to do a little tutorial on how to show yourself firing a gun even though you're not really firing a gun so we want that little special effect where you can hear the gun go off, you can see the fire and everything like that but it's not really a gun or in this case it's not. This is a cap gun. Usually it's going to be a fake gun and if you need to make this special effect but you don't want to actually fire a gun because that could be quite unsafe then this video is for you. So here's what you got to do. First of all you got to record your raw footage. You just saw here in the intro, that was the completed product. But let's go ahead and just show you what it will look like. All you gotta do is, of course, shoot your scene, shoot your video, firing the gun, pretending to fire the gun. You gotta make sure there's a little recoil and uh, there's not gonna actually be any sound there as far as the gun going off. You just have to act like the gun went off. So here's what that raw footage looks like. You take one more step forward, I shoot, I swear, mother effer. One more step. So now we're in Premiere Pro, we're gonna take that raw footage, take that video, and create the one that you saw in the intro. So I'm gonna go, and I know where my video is, the one I just, uh, that, that, that footage right there that we just saw. Okay, I'm gonna drag it into Premiere Pro. Once it's in Premiere Pro, you can double click it here usually and get it into the source area up here. And up here you can scroll to the point that you know you want to start it hit i and that enters that that's the point that it starts you take one more step forward i shoot i swear mother effer one more step okay and then o for out so i is in o is out that's good i like that we're going to drag that entire video start click right into where the video is and then drag it over here and we'll let's drop it into the timeline. There we have it. You take one more step forward, I shoot, I swear, mother effer. One more step. Boom, right there is where we want the gun to go off. So we need a little bit of an overlay here. Obviously you can mess with your volume, do things like that, turn up the gain. I mean, you, know, you can do whatever you need to do with your video, but this video is gonna be strictly about adding that little gunfire and sound. That's the two most important things. And I'll show you a few more little other effects you can do, like something like this that I did in one of my videos. Yoo-hoo, I'll make you famous. So there you saw some glass breaking. That was pretty cool. But uh, all kind of little effects you can do. But today, uh, let's go ahead and get to the gunfire. So we're gonna jump onto YouTube now and search for gunshot overlay. That's one thing you can shoot for. You can shoot for different things. As long as you say overlay, gunfire, gunshot, anything like that, and you're gonna get lots of options, and you wanna look for either a green screen or a black screen, and I'll show you how to do either or. But I found this really uh, good video here. Uh, screen, green screen, muzzle flash, gunshot, realistic video overlay, effect free download. Um, but you can see there's different kinds of shots here. This is green screen. And you know, there's also different kind of angles that you can find if you didn't shoot your gun straight on. You might need a, a slightly angled shot or there's side shots you can see. There's some auto fire stuff. Um, that's not really gonna be what I would need for this type, type of a gun. And there's some straightforward shots there. But anyway, this is what you need. And you can find the shot that you want this one here, I found what I'm looking for, free HD green screen, gunfire muzzle, flash collection. And this is cool because it has green screen and some black screen, so we can, you know, do either one. I'll show you how to do either one. But anyway, uh, right here, when it gets to this black screen, these are really nice. You can see the little smoke. Boom, boom. And uh, I like this. So I'm going to download this video. Now, there are different ways to download the videos. You could even screenshot the entire video if you have, like, a, a, a program that you click and it'll just record your screen and you play the video and hopefully it'll, it'll be able to grab it that way. But I have something called Internet Download Manager. You just click, uh, then it'll bring up this little download this video and then I can download it whatever quality I want, 720 in this case, and I just download it. Downloads very quickly. So it's a program I would recommend you look into, Internet Download Manager. Um, also, there are websites where you can click on search YouTube to MP4 and it'll convert from a YouTube video to an MP4 file, and you can download it that way. Lots of ways to download it, but you first need to download this video, and then we'll move back to Premiere Pro. Okay, so I dropped the video over here, and I found the area where it had the gunshot that I like. 
right in here. I pressed I at the beginning and O at the, at the end. I, I'm not going to show it because it's, this is super loud, like it has audio. But I'm going to now, once you found the area that you like, you can go ahead and take drag video only because you don't need the sound if it has sound. Unless the sound is like already has like the, the gunshot sound. Some videos might. This one doesn't. It just has a crazy, just like crazy music that goes the whole time. But anyway, I found... The, the area that I like here, it has the smoke, it has the single shot. So I'm going to click this little icon, drag video only. I'm going to drag it to my timeline. And here we can take a look at it. And right around there I think is a good one. So I'm going to kind of try to pinpoint that point. Boom. And then there we have it. So here it is. Scale frame to size. Um, I made it a little bit bigger here by right clicking scale frame to size if it's not the same size and that'll make it big um, boom that's it starts completely black boom and then there's smoke that's nice now this is a black screen now obviously this is horrible it needs to be over where the gun is at the right time and we need to get rid of all that black screen so how do we do this well let's try to first get it in the right area right there's when I shoot so I'm going to go ahead and drag this over on top of that area. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something temporarily. Go to effect controls on the, the video that you just put in there with this gunshot. We're going to change the opacity just temporarily. Just temporarily. I'm going to turn that opacity back up later. But I just want to be able to see right here that I can see myself and I can see the gunfire. That way I can put this right over the gun. So you click over above where you're green screen is or black screen or wherever that gunfire is and you can use the position up here in this area to move it around we're going to move it around and try to get that fire right over where the gun is don't worry about all this we're going to get rid of all that later this is the part of the black screen so here that's pretty close as it is that's pretty close i think it needs to move over a little to the right boom that's pretty good Maybe it needs to go down slightly. Down a little bit more. I'm trying to get pinpointed here and boom. That's not bad. Boom. Okay. I, I like that. That's pretty close. Maybe perfect. See how we can see both the fire and we can see myself and the gun and everything because I lowered the opacity. But now that I'm happy with it, I'm going to turn the opacity back up all the way to 100%. So now the black screen is back, and we need to get rid of the black screen. So you're going to go over here to blend mode. This is over here in this panel over here where you have, if you have trouble finding this position scale, I and mean, hopefully you know how to use Premiere Pro enough that you can find this. But uh, if you don't see it, you can just double click on this, double click here, and go over here to these two little arrows, and you go down to effect controls. And, it, and it, you should be able to find this. So now once you're in effect controls, you've done all that, we go down to blend mode and you want to go to lighten. Oh, look at that. Lighten. And it gets rid of all that black screen. Boom. Look at that. Boom. So now let's watch the video now. You take one more step forward, I shoot, I swear, mother effer. One more step. Okay. Looks good, but something's missing. You need the sound. That's where it all comes together with the sound. So I bet you can guess what to do. YouTube, we're going to find a gunshot sound effect. And if you're really a stickler and, and, and knowledgeable about your guns and you have your whatever fake gun, you can find a, a sound effect that matches the gun you have. I'm not an expert. I just want a, a nice gunshot sound effect. That almost sounds too big and too i sound like a cannon pistol sound effects nine millimeter that i like better a little more clean a little more clean so i'm going to download this and per really doesn't matter the quality because we're not going to have the video we're just going to use the sound effect so i'm going to download that back to premiere pro grab the video that i just downloaded pistol sound effect do the same thing that we did before Bring it up here, but this time instead of dragging, well, first of all, we'll find where the, 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 the effect is. Right there. I like that. 
I for in. O for out. Okay, so there's the area. I for in, O for, I, pr I clicked I to start, O for out. That's the, that's the uh, sound I want. Drag audio only. Drag it down here into your timeline. And sometimes Premiere Pro, because Premiere Pro sucks, uh, the wave is not there unless it's just, I don't think it's there. Uh, so sometimes you can click here, you click render and replace. And then there it is. There's the little waveform. For some reason, sometimes the waveform doesn't show up. I don't know why. Sometimes, if it's a too long of a file, you don't want to wait, render, and replace. Close the whole save. Close the whole program. Reopen it. Premiere Pro has a bunch of glitches. But anyway, here we have. It. You can see it's off. Need these to start a little sooner. So you just drag it a little bit sooner. That looks close. That almost is perfect. That's almost perfect. There we have it. So you just move the sound effect until you got it. Look at this now. Forward, I shoot, I swear, mother effer. One more step. <laughs> Look at how that or comes together. And that's it. So we have the fire and the shot. Now, what if it was a green screen? I'm just going to point this last thing out. If it was a green screen that you were... Um, looking for instead of a black screen overlay the black screen overlay is kind of easier but the green screen overlay uh, I'll show you how to do that so here we have a green screen overlay I'm gonna bring it over here and we will scale frame to size I'll just bring this over here to where it's quiet so we can focus on this and you can see you have the, the gunshots there um, the way to do this and I'm not gonna actually put it over there do all the thing I did before I'm just gonna show you simply how to remove the green from it so what you do is you go to effect panel over here and you type in key and what we're looking for is ultra key ultra key drag that over put that effect onto the clip double click double click it here we'll go back to the effect controls and here we have ultra key key color you click on this little icon and then you click on the green that surrounds it and it gets rid of it and you can see there that's how you would do that if it was a green screen and you would do the same thing before we would bring it over and 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 put it in front of the gun so that's all you have to do um, of course you could do what I did earlier and just slightly turn down the opacity before you change it before you remove the green or the black screen too. alter either way it gets the job done and this is the end result so we'll watch it through one more time you take one more step forward, I shoot, I swear, mother effer. One more step. And there you have it. So now that we've done, you probably already know what to do. File, export, media, and uh, you name your file. You you know put the, uh, the, the all your information that you want. Um, we'll call it gunshot. Save, whatever. Medium bit rate, fine, export, and there you have it. You're exporting your file. So that is a, uh, a little tutorial there on how to do a fake gunshot using an overlay sound and an overlay gunshot effect. So with some smoke and everything, it looks pretty cool. You guys have a great day. Let me know what you think of this uh, video and have a great one. Please hit that subscribe button. We'll talk to you next time.